All right, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is my first video on an IGLing series. And in this video, I coached Polar to two wins in the Solo Cash Cup. And we're kind of just going to break down how to get your first earnings in a Solo Cash Cup and like what he does in an endgame to win these games. It's really, really simple most of the time. And a lot of people overlook the simplicity of the actual game itself. Uh, so, I mean, we'll just jump right into it. And I'll kind of like be asking Polar questions, grabbing his thoughts on everything. Uh, we'll talk about what he does mid game, what he does early game, everything like that so what's up Yo. all right so uh i guess i'll grab like your thoughts on early game mid game what you want to go into end game with uh how you kind of rotate around the map prefer center zone if you prefer edge zone and uh i mean where you position yourself in these end game layers and uh either height or low ground you know what i mean so i mean pretty much my early game is just like pretty much the whole goal of the game is just get a hammer get good kills and mats like, that's really all that matters i don't care how you do it but you gotta make sure your stacks like you see i don't have a lot of mats and i'm missing metal and there's not really any places to refarm metal around where i am right now so i'm just keying. i mean it's fine to key if you're like if you know you're really good at keying and you're like really confident in yourself but obviously it's not like recommended to key it you have zero points for killing this but like when i get my kills and go to the stack it's really just, it just makes the game much easier when you're like max loot so basically you play your early game play your mid game and you set yourself up obviously this is a victory cup you set yourself up just to win the actual game itself so you go into end game super stacked you play until you're super stacked you key until you're super stacked basically do anything to make sure that you're super yeah, exactly. stacked going into end game it's because like, you don't want to sorry yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's kind of like you don't really care if you die as long as you have a couple games where you play out that you're actually stacked because there's no point in playing a shambles game in this and just wasting time if you're not gonna win the game, like if you don't have winning loot, don't, don't play. Because there's, there's nothing that, like you're not getting points for getting a top three or getting a top twenty. You're not getting any points for that. It's only the win. So. So, so you want so winning. Win. You want winning loot going into end game, basically, yeah, exactly. and you want a winning position going into end game. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can just hit the end game. I'm already like stacked now. Okay. So first moving, obviously. Uh, you're positioning yourself elevated. You are almost on a dead side of zone. You're on the side of zone where it opened up. So as you can see on the map, uh, everybody's kind of on that right side of zone. Like, yeah. literally everyone. So you're on dead side, basically, all the way in the left. And everyone's kind of funneling in the right and struggling over there. And obviously you're elevated because you have a hammer for your next rotate, correct? Yeah, exactly. And you can see, like, I think you want to think about a lot is, like, when you're boxing up, don't think about like am i okay now like obviously if you're in a bad spot and you just want to make sure you're alive but like you always want to plan for how you're going to get to zone or like get to the next zone so like i'm elevated here and i know that if i just hammer left side here like look how free it is like there's one hammer and it gets me front side whenever i want and like there's no risk involved at all yeah literally no risk there's no one behind you no one that's going to hop in on you no one that can hammer you down nothing like that just because you're on dead side in an elevated space exactly so one hammer to the left yeah, Assuming you go. Charge, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. But even right here where I am, like, there's nobody in my way. Like, there's no old builds that are like gonna get me caught or something. Like, so yep. Nah, no so risk whatsoever. Out. And so often, like first moving, uh, when I coach you, I see you elevated in first moving, and after first moving, you you like to drop and play low ground for almost the rest of the game. Uh, what is like your intent behind that? Uh, normally. I mean, in solos this season, with how hectic it is, like with the hammers, like, low ground's just the only way you're just, you know, you're never gonna get dropped down, you're never gonna. It, it's just, it's also kind of being aware, just being really comfortable, like, box fighting. I know that every fight, if I get in a fight on low ground somehow, it's just gonna end up being a box fight. And I know that I just, like, will win it every single time. So I really have no, like, there's no, like, downside to me playing low ground. Like, I don't lose okay. anything. And, if I play like height or something, I can get hammered out, I can get griefed really easily on height. On low ground, you can't really get griefed. So again, I mean, you're playing to your strengths. You know you're a good box fighter, you're confident, you have good aim, good mechanics, low ping. You're you're kind of playing to your strengths in, in, in these end games by choosing a position low ground. Yeah, exactly. And like, you and see I mean, like, all these rotates, it's just going dead side. Like, I'm already yep. front side, but I rotated on this side. Like, I was like back here, and I got... Yep. Like, look how free, like, there's nobody on this side of zone. Like, there's literally three boxes of space between the builds and the storm. Whereas on this side, there's 
all these kids, like all this like traffic, pretty much because they're and all congested. Also, I mean, because you're on dead side, you're kind of able to wait backside of zone, pick up that refresh, and then go ahead. Exactly. Whereas if you were on congested side, you wouldn't really have that opportunity to wait on backside of zone and then go ahead. Where and you'd kind of have to force yourself to fully stay ahead. Yeah, I mean, you can think about it like this: like, imagine I'm playing low ground, right? But I'm this intentions guy on low ground. He's in a yep. scuff spot. Like, he's gonna hammer here. He could get through this. It could be like lucky and he could like get front side. But I mean, either way, if he gets front here, there's three kids within these three boxes right here. Like, every single box is occupied. Like, if he gets here, he's just gonna die. He's gonna get box walled by these kids because he needs to storm. Like, he he he's like blindly going into this rotate pretty much. Like, he has no idea what's in front of him. I would assume that he doesn't have like a crazy game. <laughs> he does good. But like, either way, like that just that rotate right there if you were on left side of low ground like how free it is compared to what the other side looks like yep absolutely. that's my that's like why my rotate was so free here i had to stay ahead because i didn't everything's free i won 95 back then but now i'm kind of just like chilling with all my loot i'm so stacked i mean again you're just playing playing to your strengths here like like that is unbelievable. That little phase in through, you know that you can do that. Like that is crazy. Just noticing those little things. Yeah, and like I'm just my focus after getting kills and like getting my refreshes is just getting front side again. Like, uh, I'm so far here, I'm like dead side, so you can see like everybody. Yep. It's just pretty much the same thing. Just every single zone going like you see this side. There's way more builds and like there's way more people hammering. There's four kids hammering here now. Whereas my side. I can just hammer once out this way, and there's no builds over here. And it'll get me the zone like way freer and way safer. Yep. And I mean, again, you're kind of putting yourself on that low ground layer, able to look for refreshes front zone. And I mean, still, just because you of the way you've played the solo game, you have 57 builds left. Yeah, like I'm you so are so stacked. The most, if not the most stacked person in the lobby, which obviously just makes the game way easier for you to win. Like, that's kind of the goal. Like people think that. Like, it's only the end game that matters, but how you set yourself up for end game is probably way more. Just as important. Yeah, if not more. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And I mean, you're just controlling the low ground. Like, you're in a really good spot. You're still really healthy. Uh, you still have, like, enough mats to go for a refresh. And I mean, this is just a beautiful edit right here. Or a beautiful... Yeah, like that. That is insane. That little thing. If they, if there's nothing you can do. That's like yeah. taking a right hand peek. And again, I mean, you worked yourself up, you got good mats again. Front side, low ground. And you're just gonna go to the right or... here, probably, because because it's dead dead over there fully. Or maybe not, but all good. You yeah. work your... It's, it's kind of just congested, so it's like, you kind of yep. still, uh, I mean, if you see a path, like, obviously there's like your, uh, like there's like theories on how to play each zone, like how, yep. how to get the dead side and stuff. But if you see a free path, even if it's on the congested side, like, just take it. Like, take if it. it's free, it's free. If it's not, it's not. But, like, Majority of the time, the free path is gonna be on this side. But right there, I got like a nice long, nice little path to just get to front really quick. Yep. Like a, this right here is just another. Just trying to like kind of just get kids off of my low ground layer and just alphaing up really. Yeah, I mean, even right now, you're still in a great spot to win. You're healthy. It's the end of the game. Uh, you know. A lot of these kids are going to be griefing each other as well on height or something like that. Like they all have hammers, so they're all playing for the win. They're all going up, and I mean it didn't really grief height this time, but in other lobbies like that, that is a very big thing that could grief height. And so I mean, as a final one v one, what is like kind of going through your head? You have eight builds, you have a med mist. Uh, what's going through your head in this situation? You've bullied low ground, you've played dead side, you've played the game perfectly. Uh, you haven't really made any errors, and if you did, they're very small. Um, but like what's going through your head in this like 2v2 or 1v1 situation yeah i think the final 1v1 is like the most important part of these games obviously because that's all that matters if you can't call out the 1v1 like what's the point in playing the game because you're not gonna you're not gonna like get your earnings you're not gonna yeah place because kills aren't really worth anything placements aren't worth anything other than the win i mean closing the 1v1 is definitely the most important thing right now and obviously i had low ground and i got a med miss there and everything and i knew this kid was gonna go up and fight height and i have a med miss right and i'm 70 white but just because i saw them fighting like as soon as i see nani get that kill in the kill feed i'm just hammering up i'm not letting him get that siphon loot i'm not like worrying about myself healing at this point i'm just worrying about him getting more stacked than me which is just something you don't want so i just instantly hammer up when he gets that kill and yep. obviously he misses the metal the brick like all the loot falls 
I grief his high ground. It's really the most important thing in these games, and I get the free damage. And once I get yeah, the I mean, damage, it's, it's kind of free. Also, when you're on low ground and you hammer up, uh, it's just way easier to hit the shot than if you're on high ground, build's broken, the guy's going up. Like, that's just so much to deal yeah. with. So, I mean, you when you're on low ground and you hammer up, it's kind of a lot easier to hit that shot as well. Mm -hmm. And now you're on high ground. And now and since I have all the advantages, it's kind yeah. of just like, now I just play time. And I like try to beat my madness while still getting heals off. And I know he's going to hammer up because he can't really do anything else. Like, I already yep. hammered up through him and wasted his mats. And he had to start tarping low ground and wasting his mats. And I got that 50 damage, so I knew he was like lower than me. So now yep. I kind of just like know he's going to hammer straight up through that build right here. Like, I knew he yeah, I mean, and you've right done here. a perfect job. Like you're baiting your Medvis. He thinks yeah. you don't have your shotgun out. Nothing like that. You pull your shotty out as right, right when he hammers. This mm -hmm. is like all about reading your opponent and what he's going to do. And I mean, you just set yourself up for a perfect shot on him. Yeah, exactly. You can also hear exactly like if you... You hear him pull it out. listen closely, you could hear them pull out their hammer. And if you're like really good at using your audio, you can know exactly what box he's in. So I know he's in this box. So I know that this floor is not going to break. I know he's going to break this. So I just yep. took that step back, pulled out my gun, and I shot on him for the win. Yeah, that was crazy. So I mean, again, just like a little review, play your mid game out, play till you're stacked. Uh, you don't want to go in. You're not playing for 10th place in these cups. You want that $100. Play to your advantages. Play dead side. Get a hammer. Um... What else? Any other takeaways from that game? Do you have anything to say? Uh, yeah, I think the big thing is just trying to find your own play style and play your game. Like, obviously, there's all like the things that we said in this that will help you. Like, that are general things that are like kind of like almost common knowledge for like pros that are consistently placing. But it's like those little like hidden things, like just defining dead side and knowing when to look for kills and all that. That kind of like separate the pros from like lower tier players. And then kind of just finding your own play style. Like, I like the low ground. I like looking for a lot of kills and staying stacked. If you like playing really passive and just playing your dead side, playing all your mats and like looking for kills late, like that works too. Like, there's a lot of different ways to win games. Yeah, absolutely. Well, sounds good. Sounds perfect.